is where we left off is cleaning our metal parts. Uh, we had to wash those with vinegar water solution because they've been sitting around for so long they were rusted and had a lot of surface rust. So what I did, I went ahead and cleaned them off. You can see how nice and clean they are now. And then I also went ahead and epoxy primed the back side of our panels. And these will be the, pan the side that's going to be sitting inside the car due to the fact that it's going to be hard to get up in there and prime those. So now that we got the outer cowl panel removed, we have revealed the situations of our rot and rust problems that we have. The next thing we need to do is go ahead and get ready to prepare ourselves to install the new panels. Now I just noticed something on these panels right here, which I'm really not fucking happy with. And if you look right here, what you're going to see is this is where our wiper shaft comes up through the car and then of course it would bolt on the inside. On this panel here, all we have is a stamped out area where it's going to go. So we've got to be very, very precise on mounting this. And I'm going to show you how to do that to make sure that you drill the exact holes that it takes. And then, of course, we'll have to go ahead and uh, either use these nuts here or go ahead and replace those with new nuts. Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie, the body shop girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. set that in there and get our precise measurement that we need. I'll do it on both sides, but we're going to go ahead and concentrate on this side right here. And if you don't have a uh, plasma cutter, which you probably don't, you'll want to be able to go ahead and just use whatever you can just to get this, this can out of here, you might call it a can, coffee can out of here, because we got to be able to lay that down in there precisely measure it where it's going to go. And you can see right there that this was very, very rotted out and needed replaced badly. Restoring this car and not doing what I'm doing here would have fucked the whole process up and would have been a waste of time. Here. We can go ahead and cut it precisely right on this side of the line we made with our pen, or we can go ahead and leave uh, about a half an inch to three quarters of an inch play so we can flange weld it. Now, if you cut it right on the line, that would be called a butt weld, but if you cut it three quarters of the way away from it, that would be called a flange weld. 
what my friend Pete's going to do is he's going to go ahead and flange weld this because that's more strength and durability style. And since this is a major structure area right here, we want all the strength that we can get. So what I'll do is I will take some three-quarter inch tape and I'm going to go ahead and put it right on the inside of the fucking line here, just like you see me doing, being as precise as possible. And now I can go ahead and cut right on this side of the line, or maybe in a little bit, and that'll give me a nice angle where I can see that I'm going to be cutting a nice straight line. thing before we proceed with what we're doing here I want to let you know that when it comes to this inner cow panel with the fresh air vents you want to do one side at a time don't cut them both out and then uh, replace them at the same time you want to do one side at a time well we finally got that off uh, we'll be able to clean this edge up this is a very very intense messy fucking job because these panels are glued down with seam sealer. It's got 900 fucking spot welds in it, but uh, we finally got it removed. But we also ran into another fucking problem, and let me show you what that fucking problem is. at right now this is called the classic example of the domino effect and I'm sure you're already looking at what I'm looking at right down here this side panel here this side skirt is rotted this thing is rotted and rusted and it needs to be replaced and also if we look right here I keep focusing on this and I've you've probably seen it 60 fucking times but all this has to be replaced too because guess what this metal is in layers do you see what I'm saying this is the first thing that goes on. Then you got that panel over there that goes in here. Then you got this other panel. So before we put that back together, now we have got to come in here and replace this fucking thing and also repair this motherfucker where it's supposed to be perfect. So we were talking about that side skirt panel there and uh, of course the fucking uh, door jam fucking hinge pillar as well. Let's go see if the owner's even got those in stock if he's even purchased those because if he ain't purchased those yet my friend Pete's gonna have to get those we can't go any further on this car until we get those I know for a fact that he has a used, he has a used uh, door jam pillar, hinge pillar, I know that uh, what the fuck are these here? these look like, uh, alright these are the trunk, this is the trunk floor. we don't need those I don't think he's got that panel, I, I really don't alright hold on, what's this right here? Okay, this is the Mustang Cal outer panel. The Mustang Cal outer panel. Does that look like that? That's I think that's it right there. That's it. Okay, that's the outer the outer uh, side. There it is, right there. That's the panel we're looking for. So he's got it. And then also, if you look right here, there's our fucking uh, door post. But the situation we have, and let me show you what I'm talking about. Now that I got this out, I want to show this to you. If you look right here, you can see how everything's layered. Do you see what I'm saying? So you got to start with the bottom part and then work your way up. So this would actually be the second piece that goes in because this lays on top of that. And then you put your other two pieces on. So we're kind of fucked in the ass here. I'm going to have to get this sandblasted. There's no way that I'm going to use it like this. And we'll take that down there to Able Sandblasting. Have them sandblast that brand new and get it all cleaned up. And then we'll be back on our 1968 Rustang Frankenstein fucking Mustang. It's a domino effect. It's a fucking domino effect here. I can't even figure, I was all excited to come out here and say, hey, I'm gonna get this shit done today, but now we're fucked and I gotta wait two or three more days to get all this fucking shit taken care of. And yeah, it's a big fucking mess, but uh, my friend Pete's gonna figure it out. Now, here's another angle. Look at this right here. Look at that, look at that right there. That's our rocker panel assembly. So we'll be back with our wonderful, fabulous 1968 Mustang Frankenstein Rustang. 
when we return. For watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.